Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Before we start the official inauguration ceremony, let's watch a few interesting testimonials of our past students and activities carried out by Science Students Union. Hello everyone, my name is Manoj Jikram Singha. I'm a first year statistics PhD student at Pennsylvania State University. I completed my bachelor's degree in statistics at University of Peradeniya. Throughout my undergraduate years, I was able to acquire many medals, prizes and awards. The most prestigious one being University of Peradeniya Faculty of Science Gold Medal uh, for scholastic and uh, extramural excellence. And I was also awarded the Department of Statistics and Computer Science Alumni Prize for Excellence in Statistics. And after being the batch top in my first year, I was awarded the Vijita Malewana Memorial Scholarship and Peradini University uh, Alumni Association of New South Wales Scholarship. And apart from um, scholarly activities, I was also engaged in extracurricular activities as well, such as drama and sports. I directed the Faculty of Science Drama in Drums of 2019 and we became the first runners up. I was also awarded University Rugby Full Colors. And uh, my message to youngsters is that work hard but don't forget to have fun along the way and uh, communicate with the faculty members and uh, your friends and even seniors if you are ever in doubt reach out to them they will be happy to assist you in time you want and uh, make sure that you have a memorable journey and good luck with everything thank you so much hello everyone i'm kavin hiniduma a second year phd student at the ohio state university specializing in computer science and engineering my academic journey began at the University of Peradeniya, specialized in computer science at the Faculty of Science. During my undergraduate years, uh, I achieved a first class distinction and I also presented my research work in two international conferences. Well, in addition to academics, I was also an integral part of the university's cricket team. I earned a three year Colorsman title and I also hold a record for the highest individual score at the University of Peradeniya. I also received the prestigious faculty gold medal, recognizing my excellence in both uh, academics and extracurricular activities. Well, prior to joining the Department of Statistics and Computer Science as a computer science demonstrator, I worked as a software engineer. However, my true passion was academia, which led me to pursue a PhD and become a researcher in my research field. Today, I'm here in the United States following my dream in becoming a leading researcher. So to all the incoming students, I say congratulations and good luck. Embrace every opportunity, push your limits in academics and extramural activities, and never stop pursuing your dreams. Thank you, and I wish you all the very best in your endeavors. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Faculty of Science, University of Peradeniya. I'm Sanjani Tilakaratna, and currently I'm a PhD candidate at University of Melbourne in Australia, and also a professional lecturer at the Department of Parasitology, Faculty of Medicine, University of Rahona. So I started my bachelor's degree in 2016 and after two years I got selected to follow the zoology honors degree which I have always been interested in. And during my final year I conducted my honors research project in the field of parasitology. Then I successfully completed my honors degree in 2020 with the first class and having a GPA of 3.85. In addition to that, I received university awards for academic excellence and Professor F.P. Amar Singh Hangal Medal for the excellence in zoology. Right after my graduation, I published two research papers and I was able to secure a position in academia and also to commence a PhD here in Australia even without a master's degree. It's actually because of the standard of honours degree offered by Faculty of Science, University of Peradeniya and also the research training I received from a well-trained academic staff. 
and apart from the academic activities, I also worked for Solarchist Association of University of Peradeniya and also participated in several wildlife photography competitions. And I wish you all the very best and success in your journey ahead. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. I'm Kupali Kolbola. I'm alumni of University of Radhania. I did the BSc Honours Degree in Statistics and I was a graduate student here and I was also awarded the alumni award for Excellence in Statistics here. Moreover, I was in a lot of organisations and societies and I did the founding variety shows as well. So all these things that I did during my graduate years helped me to uh, obtain a full scholarship to do my master's in statistics at the University of Connecticut in USA. And currently I'm doing my PhD in statistics at the University of Calgary in Canada. So all the experiences that I gained during my undergraduate years uh, helped me in studies and more importantly to me to become a good citizen and understand how to work with others, especially in a very diversified group. So I wanted to tell you that it's not only about studies, it's how you build yourself during these years uh, will help determine and help you to build a good future. So I wish you all the best. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Lasita Gayan Meliang. I'm a PhD candidate. Uh, before saying anything about what I'm doing right now, let me tell you something about my life in the University of Peradini. I got into the University of Peradini Science Faculty in uh, 2016 as a physical science freshman. After like three or four months, I was working out in the university's gymnasium and I saw this poster from the weightlifting team. It's about a noises powerlifting competition so I thought like why don't I give it a shot so I participated in the competition however I ended up working out with the university's weightlifting team so that's how I got into the weightlifting team so uh, in my second year it was 2017 uh, I represented the University of Peradeniya team in inter-university games and I won won the bronze medal in uh, 85 kilograms weight category in 2018 it was my third year however i can say that's my golden year in university of peradeniya uh, i was selected to pursue a honors degree in physics i won the gold medal in inter-university games in 77 kilograms weight category i broke two national university records and I was selected to represent Sri Lanka in World University Games. In 2019, it was my final year. I finished my degree with a second class upper division honors ranking. I captained university's powerlifting team. And in 2019 Inter-University Games, I won a gold medal in 89 kilograms weight category. So that's a brief summary of my life in University of Peradini. So now let me tell you something about what I'm doing right now. I'm following a PhD in Physics at Louisiana Tech University in the United, United States. Uh, my research is about nuclear and particle physics. Uh, it's about fundamental symmetries in particle physics. Uh, let me put it this way. It's in uh, high energy physics because people call this research area high energy physics. Also, I'm still following weightlifting. I'm trying to get into the national Sri Lanka national weightlifting team. Uh, recently I won a gold medal in Louisiana State Weightlifting Championships. That's it I guess. Thank you and good luck for your future. Hello everyone. I'm Namal Abhisuri, a current PhD student in environmental chemistry at Tennessee Technological University in the USA. I'm also Erasmus Mundus alumni scholar in uh, environmental contamination and toxicology, having pursued my master's degree in four different uh, universities across the four countries in Europe, including France, Spain, Portugal, and the Netherlands.
Uh, I completed my bachelor's degree in environmental science at the University of Peradeniya. Uh, the multidisciplinary academic knowledge and the strong research background that I gained from the environmental science honors degree program helped me to find various uh, graduate uh, opportunities in different countries shortly after my graduation. It also uh, played a significant role in winning the prestigious fully funded Erasmus Mundus scholarship after competing with the thousand of the applicants worldwide for continue my uh, graduate studies in the Europe and the USA. Uh, the experience of the field visit, individual and group learning activities, industrial visits, conferences, and extracurricular activities, as well as the confidence that I gained during my time at the University of Peradeniya have uh, been in invaluable in adapting to uh, different academic environments and the different research backgrounds in the five different uh, countries uh, uh, during my uh, graduate study journey. I am forever thankful to the uh, Department of Environmental and uh, Industrial Sciences and the Faculty of Science for uh, guiding and uh, shaping our academic journey. Sayo Patayas is Thank you. 
the Faculty of Science, established in 1961 with the vision of being a globally renowned institution contributing towards the development of a vibrant scientific community, offers a wide range of exciting, research-informed and industry-relevant programs encompassing the physical sciences, life sciences, computational sciences, mathematics and data science. From its humble beginnings 60 years ago, with just five academic departments, the Faculty of Science today comprises of nine departments, two units, Computer Science Unit and the Science Education Unit, the Science Education Resource Center, the Science Industry Interaction Cell, and a library for creating, applying, and disseminating new knowledge for the advancement of pure and applied sciences. With the mission of promoting excellence in education, training, research outreach activities in the basic and applied sciences, and to organize and conduct such programs to support national development, we thrive in maintaining a respectful, inclusive, and supportive environment where all students and staff can flourish. The faculty admits more than 500 undergraduate students annually and offers a wide range of study programs paving the way to tomorrow's respectful individuals for rewarding careers in diverse fields in the society. Teaching is delivered in purpose-built facilities, providing innovative spaces for study and research. The leadership of our renowned scholars and researchers has created a culture of discovery and innovation. Students develop an essential understanding of science and critical thinking skills that will reflect in their decision-making throughout their lives. The Department of Botany, with a reputation for maintaining high academic standards and a strong research culture, has taken a conscious effort to expand its teaching program, bringing together novel developments in the field with traditional areas of botany. It consists of contemporary lecture halls, a glass house, a plant house, herbarium facilities, a botanical garden, and a departmental library. In teaching, the department offers general, honors and applied science study programs, providing students with a wide choice of attractive courses. The department's main strength is research. As research, we conduct programs a vast range of disciplines, from the molecular to the community scale. Our interests range from plant systematics, communities, forestry, plant pathology, fresh produce technology, toxicology, microbiology, and soil sciences. Established in 1960, the Department of Chemistry is one of the university's most prestigious and influential departments. The department provides a conducive environment for students to advance their skills in science and technology. The department has numerous laboratories, lecture theaters that can hold up to more than 200 students, and two auditoriums with state-of-the-art technology. As one of the premier research institutes in the country, the Department of Chemistry boasts a highly creative and productive research cadre with a collective edge index over 170. The department also has access to a wide range of instruments including NMR, XRD, XRF, SEM, HPLC, GCMS, AAS, FTIR and others. The Department of Geology was established in 1964 as a part of the University of Ceylon. It is the only full-fledged geology department in the university system. A place where people form close connections with limitless landscapes, it has progressed to a well-equipped academic center. The Department of Geology has a widely recognized BSc Honors in Geology undergraduate program and leading postgraduate programs in Earth Sciences. Graduates of the geology department excel in all areas of study. It is a place that inspires and furnishes its products to become well-established professionals. One of the oldest and the most renowned departments in its field in the country, the Department of Mathematics was relocated to the present location in 1991. The current two-story building consists of a large lecture theater to accommodate more than 200 students. In addition, the department houses four large lecture rooms, each of which can accommodate 50 students, two small discussion rooms, a seminar room, and a computer laboratory. With the contribution of 15 permanent staff members who excel in various areas of pure and applied mathematics, the department facilitates the honors degree program in mathematics and aids in the administration of the statistics and operations research program, computational and management, and the bachelor's degree program in mathematics. The 21st century has witnessed an explosion of knowledge in biology, specifically by advancing in various fields in molecular biology and biotechnology. 
Established in 1997, the Department of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology takes pride in contributing to the biological sciences by making science undergraduates with thorough training in the related fields. Embrace the beginning, for it holds the promise of endless possibilities. A very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty members, and the fresh faces that represent the bright future of our university. A very warm welcome to University of Fair Avenue. Today, we are deeply honored to have with us distinguished personalities who have graced this occasion with their presence. I would like to extend a warm welcome to our esteemed Vice Chancellor, Professor M.D. Lama Wansar, Dean, Faculty of Science, Professor Sanat Rajapaksha, Deans of other faculties, Acting Director of Postgraduate Institute of Science, Proctor of University of Peradvinia, Heads of the Departments, Directors of Faculty Centers and Units, Distinguished Guests and Students. We are gathered here today to mark the beginning of an exciting journey for our new batch of talented and enthusiastic students. This is a momentous occasion as we open our doors to a group of bright minds ready to embark on their higher ad education adventure. First, we would like to invoke the blessings of light upon this gathering. As a symbol of knowledge, wisdom, and enlightenment, we will now light the oil lamp. I kindly request our esteemed invitees, Vice Chancellor, Professor M.D. Lamawansar, Dean, Faculty of Science, Professor Sanat Rajapaksha, Professor Uday Disanayaka, Dean of Faculty of Engineering, representing the other faculties, uh, Professor Saman Nathauda, Proctor of University of Peradeniya, Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Chandi Mahera, Dr. Vishwa Kumar, Head of the Department of Physics, representing the Department of Faculty of Science, Acting Director, PGIS, Professor Kalinga Bandara, Assistant Registrar, Deputy Belsa, Deputy Proctor, Faculty of Science, Director, SIIC, Dr. Piyumali Pereira, Coordinator, ELTU, Ms. Apsara Vidana Patirana, Science Librarian of University of Peradeniya, Ms. Sureni Veera Singha, Junior Treasurer of Science Students' Union, a student representing the 2021 batch to join us in this auspicious ritual.
Thank you for lighting the lamp and bringing your positive energy to our gathering. As we mark the threshold of this significant occasion, I extend a warm invitation to you all to rise to the plane of the university anthem. Thank you all. Next on our schedule is a truly exciting performance. I am thrilled to extend a warm invitation to our talented dance team from Art Circle to grace the floor and showcase their impressive performance.
Thank you very much, my dear students. It is my distinct pleasure to invite to the stage to our esteemed Dean, Faculty of Science, Professor Sanat Rajapaksha, to deliver the welcome address. Good morning to all of you. Professor M.D. Lamavansa, the Vice Chancellor, University of Peradeniya. Deans of faculties, uh, namely Professor Ravi Kurupuge, Dean Management, Dr. Uday Disanayak, Dean Engineering, Dr. Prabhat Teknayak, Dean Arts, Professor Vasanthi Pinto, Dean Medicine, Professor Lalani Atavara, Dean Elite Health Sciences, Professor Shyam Bannayaka, Acting Dean Dental Sciences, and Professor Kurituaku, Professor Sarath Kurituaku, Dean Agriculture, uh, Professor Saman Atavuda, the Proctor of the University of Peradeniya, uh, Professor Kalinga Bandar, the acting dean, acting uh, director of the Postgraduate Institute of Science, all heads of departments, Dr. Chandi Maherat, the our chief medical officer, assistant librarian in science, Ms. Sureni Virasingha, all the academic staff members of the Faculty of Science, deputy bursa and assistant registrar of the Faculty of Science, all non-academic non staff of the Faculty of Science, and my dear students, and ladies and gentlemen. So on behalf of the Faculty of Science, uh, University of Peradeni, I warmly uh, welcome our Vice Chancellor, Deans of Faculties, and all other distinguished invitees for this inauguration ceremony for the new entrance to the Faculty of Science, University of Peradeni. Dear students, uh, first of all, uh, congratulations. Congratulations on entering the University of Peradeni. It is my great pleasure uh, to welcome you all to the most comprehensive, most beautiful, and uh, obviously the number one university in the island, and most importantly, to the best uh, faculty of science in the university system in Sri Lanka. Faculty of Science, uh, which is one of the largest academic bodies of the University of Peradeniya, was founded in 1942 and shifted to this location in 1961. And uh, this faculty, uh, has spearheaded science tertiary education in the country for over 80 years now. I'm proud to say that uh, the faculty is blessed with a well-qualified academic staff, which amounts to about 112 at the moment, and over 9,900 students. And the faculty offers uh, students a journey of learning and uh, discovery into the natural and computational sciences. 
if I add a little bit more to the information about the faculty, the faculty consists of nine departments, three uh, units, as well as a science industry interaction cell. The faculty annually admits over 500 students and offers several uh, honors degree programs, uh, namely BSc honors in biology, botany, biomedical sciences, chemistry, computer science, data science, environmental science, geology, mathematics, microbiology, molecular biology and biotechnology, physics, statistics, and zoology. And we have a BSc honors degree program in statistics and operational research. We take from the UGC through a special window to the faculty. Uh, the BSc honor study programs in biomedical sciences, microbiology, and data science uh, are actually new additions to the honors degree program list in the faculty. The faculty uh, still uh, continues to offer the three-year degree program, uh, ultimately providing the students an option of spending additional one year, that is three plus one scheme, uh, with an industry-oriented fourth year focusing on an outcome-based education leading to a BSc degree, honors degree in applied sciences. So dear students, all the courses in the faculty are conducted under semester-based course unit system, which you will get to know in, in detail later. Uh, and we have uh, widened the flexibility of selecting course combinations. And undergraduates are also trained in information and com communication technology, laboratory and field techniques, critical thinking, problem solving, teamwork, uh, leadership skills, and effective oral and written communication skills to meet the needs of the modern society. The faculty, while offering courses which provide solid foundation in science, IT, and mathematics, also offers courses in latest advances in the areas of nanotechnology, biotechnology, geographical information systems, and management and economics. Our degree programs are highly regarded in the world and uh, provide excellent career opportunities nationally as well as internationally. So in addition to serving various uh, sectors in the country, a significant number of our graduates, probably the, most, uh, the highest number from any university in Sri Lanka, they are enrolled in MSc, MPhil, and PhD uh, degree programs in the most prestigious universities in the world uh, where they excel. The academic staff of the Faculty of Science uh, is engaged in additional teaching in uh, groundbreaking research Sometimes you uh, may be aware of the very recent uh, one being the face mask uh, Respiron against the coronavirus developed by researchers in the Faculty of Science. Faculty academics have won international recognition, prestigious national and international awards and significant research grants. A substantial number of academic staff receives the coveted uh, presidential awards each year in recognition of their research published in prestigious high-ranked journals. Research excellence of the academic staff not only contributes to the reputation of the faculty, but also provides students an opportunity to engage in cutting-edge research projects. And hundreds of our undergraduates also benefit working on their independent research projects under the guidance of faculty members. So dear students, uh, you should realize anyway that the people of our country, both rich and poor, have made a great investment in your education. There is nothing called free education. Uh, somebody has to pay. You know that, right? I request, therefore, you all to make use of this opportunity so that uh, you and our country will benefit from the investment. Your undergraduate programs, I repeated, uh, say this, undergraduate programs leading to the BSc degrees have been designed to teach basic and applied science together with comprehensive skills in uh, uh, skill development components. At the end of the program, you should not only be a science graduate, equipped with knowledge and skills, but you should be one who possess necessary attitudes to be kind, caring, and compassionate human being. You should abide by the university rules and law of the country as well. Your predecessors, have their, uh, by their commitment and hard work, have brought fame and pride uh, to this faculty as well as to the university, both locally and internationally. So I hope you too would work towards achieving similar or even better standards and keep the university Peradenia uh, flag flying high. So enjoy your undergraduate life at Peradenia. While welcoming uh, you all again to the faculty, I wish you all the very best and thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. 
Vice Chancellor Professor M. D. Lama Wansar has been an inspiring leader, guiding our university with wisdom and dedication. Without further ado, I invite Sir to the stage to share a few words with us. Very good day to all of you, my dear students. The Dean of the Faculty, Professor Sanat Rajapaksha, the other deans and the directors and university senior and junior colleagues of the faculty and from elsewhere and the non-administrative staff, ladies and gentlemen. And I totally agree with what your dean has uh, said a little while ago. Uh, about the faculty, what you should do, and uh, how important it is to adhere to the disciplines and all that. And for us in the university, dear students, your parents are not here. For us, it is so important to see a um, group of new students coming in, and also the groups equally live in the university as mature adults. That is why many of the senior teachers and the academic administrators are here to observe this very important occasion of your life. Your parents and you and your families have sweated and labored a lot to get you to this room today. And from the time you were born, even before you were born, and they have sacrificed a lot for you. And the whole country, as Professor Sanat Rajapaksha said, even I am paying for your education as of now. One third of my salary is taxed, and what I charge from my patients in, in the private sector is also taxed, and to pay for your education. I think we need to understand all that and to use all the opportunities that we have in the university and there is no question that we have the best university in the country, the best science faculty in the country. And you are lucky to be here, and congratulations for your achievements so far. That is the good side of the story. But unfortunately, you are already late. Some of you may have done the exam more than once, and due to COVID and the other problems, and there has been a huge delay in absorbing you to the university. There are more than 510 students registering and starting uh, today. And um, so you are late. Uh, we cannot do much about what has happened in the past, but there may be things that we can do now to minimize the effects of such delay. One thing is to finish your course within the stipulated time and leave, number one. Number two is to do extra work to cover the areas of the work that you have not been able to cover during last couple of years, and also to do more so that you are well prepared for your life. Mind you, getting married, getting a job, if you were here two years ago, both would have happened two years earlier than what it would happen to you in another four or five years' time. So that you have lost a lot of time, and also the time that you have to serve the country and to do a job is, has got cut down by two years. And also, the meaningful time that you live on this earth also has come down by two years minimum. Therefore, there is urgency. And we tell this to the student unions, and uh, he is representing here today. They also understand how important it is to finish the course within the identified period and send them off to the society. So I am thankful to the student union of the science faculty for working with the dean to ensure that you pass out on time. And um, university has got enough freedom for you. But when you look at the university in total, 
University is a collection or a community of teachers and scholars like you and them. And that it comes from a Latin word. So that is what the, what the, uh, no, the, the university, the word comes from Latin. But the university's perspective is that to allow these academics and the young scholars to groom themselves and do what is best expected of them. In doing so, as I said, that you have got huge freedom here. And also, you are being groomed to take up the next challenges as adults, mature adults and important citizens of this country, which many others do not have the privilege. At home, so far, you had your parents and you had to work with them and you had a certain kind of very good exposure. That is why you are here. Then while you are here, you will get exposed to all kinds of people coming from different parts of this country, from north to south, to the east to the west. They belong to different social, ethnic, religious, all backgrounds, and the richest of the rich and the poorest of the poor. That is the beauty of this university, that you have everybody whom you can think of representing Sri Lanka here. And many courses in our, except in science, all in English, yes. And go to the arts and humanities side. And trilingual courses. And we are very good at that. University of Peradeni is well recognized for such. So that you meet all these people here in this university. And you can learn from each other. Nobody will be, no other student will be like you. And there is no, although sometime and some student, student leaders tend to put everybody into one basket and we are similar, we are not. And there are differences. The important thing is to respect those differences and, and to learn from each other. While you are here, you have the opportunity of getting exposed to and linking with more than 15,000 students, colleagues at a given time. If you can make friendship with all these 15,000, you imagine what a life you will have once you pass out everywhere in the world and in this country, you will have people known to you. What a beauty, what an opportunity that you have. The science faculty has already graduated 13,700, far you short of that, 13,700 graduates from this university. Science graduates is in its history. And you become, or you now belongs to part of that privileged cohort of our citizens. And then in this society, as I said that you meet your teachers and the scholars and the opportunities for you to get involved in academic work, practical work. And some of you all may have learned your science practicals from only from the book, because some schools actually do that only. When I made this statement three days ago in Colombo at a memorial lecture, the students looked at the teachers. So um, I, I knew what the students meant. So that you have, as the dean mentioned, to get involved with practical work that culminates in research, because the research is so important, and the science, of course, and I'm, I have heard, or I have read some time ago, then it is trying to understand what is happening around you, and why things are what they are. And therefore, I think the students getting involved like bright students, like you, in projects of that nature is so important. If you don't do that, who else will be there in this country to do that? Explore things happening around us. And then, this society, the university as a whole has got all good things. And also, if you want to 
cultivate bad things, there are bad things also. It is up to you to take a decision which one is good for you, but there is a lot of, you get a lot of advice and supervision from our teachers and the others. If you want ganja, probably you can have access to that if you want. If you want to drink plenty of alcohol, you can do that because the parents are not here and you can go to hostels and do that. If you want to attack fellow students or some others, either physical violence, you have the freedom to do that, but you know the, the, the punishments will come along with that. So if you want to fight with each other, there are also, we cannot prevent, but uh, after incident that we, we take punitive action. And there are drug peddlers around who are very happy to enter this up market in the university because some of, some of you have enough money to spend on that. And beauty is that you have good students who have developed principles and what to follow in your life and they work with you and then you learn from them and you don't get involved in any of those activities because that and you 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 get exposed but you evade those and that is one of the best experiences that you can gain and you can be happy about that you have not gone in the wrong direction if you do, if you break rules and regulations, as they know, unfortunately, we don't like taking punitive actions against our own students and children. For us, you are like our children, and you are younger than our children. Why is that? There are, at the moment, uh, more than 30 odd number of students studentship has been suspended. Last week I had to sign, I think, for uh, 10 students. So more than 30 students, some are for two, three years. Some have passed the exam, but they don't get the degree certificate because they have failed to follow the common rules and regulations as a citizen of this country. And that is also another thing that you must learn. And read the university bylaws. If you conduct yourself in an unacceptable manner, be it at the exam, be it in your halls, or lecture hall, or anywhere else, if you get caught, unfortunately, there is a procedure for us to follow. That includes ragging. And, um, Dragging can be verbal, and you will hear from Proctor is here as well, and later on, dragging can be of any form, and cyber ragging. And um, you can be victims of cyber ragging. And we had to suspend a couple of students for cyber ragging last year. They are not in yet, and it will take two, three years, and they will lose further two, three years of their life, and some may end up leaving the university. So learn all these things and go to the society tomorrow as mature adults, having evaded all these negative things that is here around in the university and also in the society, you get much more than that. Coming back to the science faculty that it has been producing very good graduates thanks to the excellent set of teachers that we have, but that is the bad thing about the science faculty on the other hand, many of them leave this country because their degrees are so well recognized and so are the teachers and including their research output. And they do a very good service, therefore you are very lucky. And some of you, have, you may have come to this university, you have got the science uh, education center, that's called science education center, no? Eh? A science resource center, and to learn some practical aspects. And you may have come to our open day uh, two months ago, three months ago, and you may have visited our university. But the science faculties in particular is well suited to give the necessary education to, of course, the science-based uh, students. The 
other aspects of science faculty is that and you think scientifically and you show the path to the other students even who have entered science streams in the university how to think and behave in a scientific manner that I have seen among many science faculty students and you don't understand that but I understand as an outsider. Coming to the University of Peradeniya, we have enough facilities around you, so these girls and the boys dancing. You can engage in many of the extracurricular activities which the other universities do not have in this country. And for that matter, not very many universities in the world has this kind of facilities. Swimming pool on one side, long track on this side, and the gymnasium on the other side. Actually, one foreign, um, yeah, he was, he's from uh, Europe. He said, it's wonderful, you have got all these things in easy access to your students here. We don't have that luxury in our part of the world. So therefore, use them and to mature in the system. And you are talented not only in science, but at least one or more things. So use our facilities to cultivate your inborn talents. Coming to the final stages of my talk about social media. You and I use social media, you use about 100 times more than I use. I only very rarely use it. I have a lot of other work to do rather than looking at the phone all the time. And please read about the adverse sides of s using social media. You can use uh, internet and do that even now itself. No? And uh, we think that the social media allows you to connect with people, but connect with people in an artificial manner, not at a one-to-one -one personal level, even with your parents and brothers and sisters. And it, it certainly adds to the psychological disturbances and that can lead to depression and the other disorders. Therefore, everything has got something good and bad about. Understand the limits and understand the, the bad sides of it and avoid if you want to avoid. So is cyber crimes and um, s girls get unfortunately dragged into um, cyber-related activities. And we had one or two incidents here in this university. And be careful. Already you may have had, some of you may have had that experience. If so, share that with the other students and avoid them getting into these, um, uh, these unfortunate uh, things. In a in new environment, there is certain degree of stress involved here. You are in a new place, and you think that the welfare facilities may not be good enough. But you know, uh, we spend uh, seven lakhs per year per student in science faculty. Seven lakhs per year, and. Um, that is to maintain lecture halls and to maintain um, hostels and grounds and health center, you name it, everything. And we, the best welfare facilities in this country, the university, are found here in Peradeniya. We can give hostels only to about 65% or 60 to 65% of our students, so 35 of our students do have to stay outside but we are the best in the country. So rather than crying about and worrying about what we don't have and think what we have. Welfare, we try our level best. Even yesterday we had a meeting with the students' representatives and trying to do the best possible. But because of the new environment, you think that you don't have this or that and the, the canteen food has got a fly or a human hair or you know, something and this is 
we are trying to avoid all these things and the mattress may not be that comfortable or you may not have a mattress at all, only the room because it takes some time for us to purchase mattresses. But that is part of the life and don't try to get or don't understand that is part of your life and develop certain degree of acceptance mentally rather than getting worried about it. Because in an environment like this, an economic downturn and using excessive social media and your families may not be, be doing very well because of the economic uh, issues and all that are stress and you have to work hard here to earn your degree. And I think having a good balance mentally is so important for that. You have your academics here, you can access to them. There are mentors and senior student counselors. There's a deputy proctor. And also, we have six professional counselors, well-qualified counselors appointed by the university. I think that information will be shared with you um, today, tomorrow, and you can access them. Large number of students actually get the benefit of that. You don't have to feel shy. When we have problems, we do the same. Getting advice from someone else. And therefore, please, if you are worried about something, there will be a questionnaire, I think, uh, administered to them to see how vulnerable you are for psychological disturbances and answer that question, assess yourself, and go to a counselor. There is nothing wrong. And so far, we had more than 1,000 visits to our counselors in the university. So it's very good, and we are helping our students, and the students are coming forward. So use these facilities to navigate, especially the early difficult period, and in four years' time, and some are in three years, when you leave, you leave as good ambassadors of University of Peradeniya, and for that, for you to achieve that, from the university side, if you have to do anything, and we, we try our best, and my best wishes with you for the next three or four years and beyond to become good ambassadors of University of Peradeniya. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, sir. Next, you will, be, you will have the opportunity to witness the essence of our faculty come to life through a visually pleasing and insightful video. The Faculty of Science, established in 1961 with the vision of being a globally renowned institution contributing towards the development of a vibrant scientific community, offers a wide range of exciting, research-informed and industry-relevant programs encompassing the physical sciences, life sciences, computational sciences, mathematics, and data science. From its humble beginnings 60 years ago, with just five academic departments, the Faculty of Science today comprises of nine departments, two units, Computer Science Unit and the Science Education Unit, the Science Education Resource Center, the Science Industry Interaction Cell, and a library for creating, applying, and disseminating new knowledge for the advancement of pure and applied sciences. With the mission of promoting excellence in education, training, research outreach activities in the basic and applied sciences, and to organize and conduct such programs to support national development, we thrive in maintaining a respectful, inclusive, and supportive environment where all students and staff can flourish. The faculty admits more than 500 undergraduate students annually and offers a wide range of study programs paving the way to tomorrow's respectful individuals for rewarding careers in diverse fields in the society. Teaching is delivered in purpose-built facilities, providing innovative spaces for study and research. The leadership of our renowned scholars and researchers has created a culture of discovery and innovation. Students develop an essential understanding of science and critical thinking skills that will reflect in their decision-making throughout their lives. The Department of Botany, with a reputation for maintaining high academic standards and a strong research culture, has taken a conscious effort to expand its teaching program, bringing together novel developments in the field with traditional areas of botany. It consists of contemporary lecture halls, a glasshouse, a plant house, herbarium facilities, 
a botanical garden and a departmental library. In teaching, the department offers general, honors and applied science study programs, providing students with a wide choice of attractive courses. The department's main strength is research. As research, we conduct programs a vast range of disciplines from the molecular to the community scale. Our interests range from plant systematics, communities, forestry, plant pathology, fresh produce, technology, toxicology, microbiology, and soil sciences. Established in 1960, the Department of Chemistry is one of the university's most prestigious and influential departments. The department provides a conducive environment for students to advance their skills in science and technology. The department has numerous laboratories, lecture theaters that can hold up to more than 200 students, and two auditoriums with state-of-the-art technology. As one of the premier research institutes in the country, the Department of Chemistry boasts a highly creative and productive research cadre with a collective edge index over 170. The department also has access to a wide range of instruments including NMR, XRD, XRF, SEM, HPLC, GCMS, AAS, FTIR and others. The Department of Geology was established in 1964 as a part of the University of Ceylon. It is the only full-fledged geology department in the university system. A place where people form close connections with limitless landscapes, it has progressed to a well-equipped academic center. The Department of Geology has a widely recognized BSc Honors in Geology undergraduate program and leading postgraduate programs in Earth Sciences. Graduates of the geology department excel in all areas of study. It is a place that inspires and furnishes its products to become well-established professionals. One of the oldest and the most renowned departments in its field in the country, the Department of Mathematics was relocated to the present location in 1991. The current two-story building consists of a large lecture theater to accommodate more than 200 students. In addition, the department houses four large lecture rooms each of which can accommodate 50 students, two small discussion rooms, a seminar room, and a computer laboratory. With the contribution of 15 permanent staff members who excel in various areas of pure and applied mathematics, the department facilitates the honors degree program in mathematics and aids in the administration of the statistics and operations research program, computational and management, and the bachelor's degree program in mathematics. The 21st century has witnessed an explosion of knowledge in biology, specifically by advancing in various fields in molecular biology and biotechnology. Established in 1997, the Department of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology takes pride in contributing to the biological sciences by making science undergraduates with thorough training in the related fields. The Department of Physics of the University of Peronia has served the world and local community with prolific graduates since its inception in 1961. The department offers a wide range of undergraduate and postgraduate courses covering a broad spectrum of topics in physics and provides a dynamic and diverse learning environment. The courses are designed to impart sound theoretical knowledge and practical skills. Driven by a close knit of academics and researchers, the students receive a rewarding academic experience. The department is locally and internationally recognized for its research capabilities and professional services. Other core research areas followed by its vibrant community in solid state physics, nuclear and particle physics, medical and biophysics, computational physics, atmospheric physics, astronomy and astrophysics, and nanoscience provide a wide range of opportunities to engage in cutting edge research in physics and multidisciplinary areas. The Department of Statistics and Computer Science has been dedicated to the highest standards of education, research, and community outreach since its establishment in 1966. It is one of the largest computer science departments in Sri Lanka with around 30 academic, technical, and administrative staff. It presently caters to more than 300 students per academic year. Currently, the department offers three special degrees, honors degree in statistics, honors degree in computer science, and honors degree in data science. It also coordinates the statistics and operation research study program in collaboration with the Department of Mathematics. Established in 1961, the Department of Zoology strives to promote the study of basic and applied aspects of zoology through teaching and research. 
The department has 30 academic and non-academic staff and serves a large community of undergraduate and postgraduate students. The department attracts students in love with nature, from animal lovers and conservationists to concerned disease ecologists. Its research spans all levels of zoology, from ecology and conservation biology to addressing fundamental problems in infectious diseases and biodiversity. This diversity is echoed in teaching, delivering a broad range in three undergraduate honors degrees in zoology, biology, and biomedical science. The newest department of the Faculty of Science, the Department of Environmental and Industrial Sciences, was established in 2020, and since its inception, has been administering the Honours Degree in Environmental Sciences and the Honours Degree in Applied Sciences. The student life of the Faculty of Science consists of a myriad of activities that complement the academic tasks. The faculty houses more than 30 students' societies and organizations, all of which provides an opportunity for students to engage, collaborate, and improve essential skills required in the 21st century. The Science Students' Union is the primal student body at the Faculty of Science and it acts collaboratively with the academic staff to improve the students' well-being and take initiative in organizing events and activities such as Gitanjali, a musical extravaganza that helps raise funds for scholarship programs, and Sahodara Piyapat, which aims in helping underprivileged students across the nation. The academic activities at the Faculty of Science are strengthened by the presence of a modern library consisting of not only the recommended textbooks, but also an abundance of resources for further reference. In addition, the students have access to the main library of the University of Peradeniya, the oldest and the most resourced of its kind in Sri Lanka. The common room, after recent renovations, includes a cafeteria and a spacious enclosure for students to stay relaxed and interact with colleagues. The faculty is developing new programs which are relevant and responsive to students' interests and demands for maximum employment opportunities. Moreover, we are developing new courses to increase access for a growing group of prospective students whose needs go beyond graduate-only options to ensure high-quality community-engaged teaching, research, and service opportunities. Next, I would like to welcome the junior treasurer of the Science Students' Union, Mr. Hashan Karnasena, to address the audience. Subhudasana kuyo siludena atama garu peeta de pedi tumani eva game adha davase me sthaner sabagvela inna anikut peeta niyojane karamin. Sahabagila inna pita adipati tumani tumiani, eva game apa pita departemen tu pradani tumani tumiani, eva game me awastar sambandvela inna wajdi madhyastar pradani tumani eva game minaya palaga tumani, atulu adena saha an adena mandale saudara orang saudari ani, eva game adadawase meten te sambandvela inna Makem ajaran ini, visi kebasaran sahodera itu yang nafasai. Kalau kata bela ini hindar, wedi bela awak kata agaran bela baru tu ini. Ewa ke, ewa nater, kewa yutu ma karena kihi pihak tiennawa, e pilih mandu matak kerai yutu. Eka nisa, muli ma karena tienna deh tamai, adat awasé, vidya api te, visi kebasaran kanda ayam vidya te, meten te avil lainne, vidya api te. Siwa serga sahodera itu, alut me kondunah arti ya bawat bate na, mage madari niya sahodera sahodariyo, mage madari nanggiyo nang nanggi la malli la, silo dina am mami as tawe, ita am sahodera itu en piligan nawa, e wagi me kian nonde ita mai, meten te bidyar te kwin na, upadiya gan na meten te abu obes silo dina agi me, pradana me aramu na viyutte Adiapane. E wagem, adiapane wagem, meten ta awat a passe, taman nara pasal kali edi adiapane te vitarak si ma vila hitiya na, ite hat agi hilla, taman make atule, krida awat a, e wagem make atule societies godak tina wa, 
ඒ හැම එකම ගිහිල්ලා තමන්ගේ අර තියෙන soft skills ඒ වගේ දේවල් දියුණු කරගන්න බලන්න. ඒ වගේම මේ විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ කියන්නේ අර සම්පත් ගොඩක් පිරිච්ච තැනක්. අපි දන්නවා මේක ඇතුලේ දකුණු ආසියාවේ ලොකුම පුස්තකාලේ තියෙනවා. ඒ වගේ විශාල සම්පත් ප්‍රමාණයක් තියෙනවා දකුණු ආසියාවේ ලොකුම ජිම් එක තියෙනවා. ඒ වගේ අර ඕගොල්ලන්ට පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන් සම්පත් විශාල ප්‍රමාණයක් තියෙනවා. ඒ සියල්ලම හරියට පාවිච්චි කළා මේක ඇතුලේ තමන් ආපු අධ්‍යාපනය කරගන්න ගමන්ම ඊට එහා ගිහිල්ලා මේ සමාජයට තමන්ගෙන් වෙන්න ඕන යුතුයකමක් තියෙනවා තමන් ඒ යුතුයකමත් ඉටු කරන්න එකතු වෙන්න ඕන ඒ යුතුයකම ඉටු කරන්න විද්‍යාපීට ශිෂ්‍ය සංගමයේ විදියට විද්‍යාපීඨයේ සිව් වසරක සහෝදරත්වයේ එකතු වෙලා සංවිධානය කරන ව්‍යාපෘත කිහිපයක් තිබෙනවා ඔය දැන් සහෝදර සහෝදරියන්ට දැන දැක ගන්න හම්බුණා අර මේ ගීතාංජලි සහෝදර පියාපත් ඒ වගේ අර අපේ අපි මෙතනට ආපු දේ කරගන්න ගමන්ම මෙතනින් එහා සමාජයට දෙන්න ඕන දෙයක් අපි දෙන්න උත්සාහ කරනවා අපේ අපේම සහෝදර සහෝදරියෝ ඉන්නවා සමහර වෙලාවට මෙතනට ඇවිල්ලා වේල් දෙකක් විතරක් කාලා තමන්ගේ අධ්‍යාපන කටයුතු කරන එහෙම තමන් ගැන විතරක් හිතන්නේ නැතුව අර අනිත් කෙනා ගැනත් හිතන සමාජයක් බිහි කරන්න මෙතනට ආපු මගේ මාදර නංගිය නංගිලා මල්ලිලා එකතු වෙයි කියලා හිතනවා ඒ වගේම මෙතනට ඇවිල්ලා අර හැමෝමත් එක්ක බෙදෙන් නැතුව එක කණ්ඩායමක් විදියට 21 වසර කණ්ඩායම විදියට එකට ගමනක් යන්න හැමෝමත් එක්ක එක්ව වැඩ කරන්න කියලා ඉල්ලගෙන ගමන් අර මේක ඇතුලේ තියෙන අධ්‍යාපනයට එහා ගියපු අනිත් දේවල් වලටත් සම්බන්ධ වෙලා තමන්ගේ මේ ආපු කර්තව්‍ය ඉටු කරන ගන්න ගමන් මේ විශ්වවිද්‍යාල ජීවිතේ විඳින්න එකතු වෙන්න කියලා ආරාධනය කරන ගමන් මම නියනන ඔබ සමරි ස්තුතියි அனைவருக்கும் இனிய காலை வணக்கங்கள் அகடமிக் ஸ்டாஃப்ஸ் அனைவருக்கும் இனிய காலை வணக்கங்கள் நாங்கள் விஞ்ஞான மாணவர் ஒன்றிய பீடத்திலேருந்து வந்திருக்கோம் ஸோ இங்கே என்ன செய்கிறதுன்னு சொல்லி அவர் சொன்ன சமரியை நான் சின்னதாக சொல்லிவிட்டு போகிறேன் சிங்கள விலங்காத ஆக்கள் இருப்பீங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஸோ பொதுவாக என்னென்னா பல்கலைக்கழகத்துக்கு வரவங்க அநேகமாக படிப்பு விடயங்களில் மட்டும் கவனம் செலுத்தாமல் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அதுவும் இல்லாமல் பல வளங்கள் இருக்குது லைப்ரரிஸ் அந்த மாதிரி விஷயங்கள் அதெல்லாம் பயன்படுத்துமாறு கேட்டுக்கொள்ளப்படுகின்றீர்கள் அது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் ஸ்ரேஷ்ட மாணவர்கள் கண்டாயத்தோடு இணைந்து முதலுக்கு போட்டு காட்டின மாதிரி கீதாஞ்சலி சகோதர பியாபத் அந்த மாதிரியான பல விடயங்கள் நடைபெறும் இந்த விஞ்ஞான மாணவர் ஒன்றிய பீடத்தினோடாக அதிலையும் கலந்து கொள்ளுமாறு உங்கள் அனைவரையும் அன்போடு கேட்டுக்கொள்ளப்படுகின்றீர்கள் படிப்பு படிப்புக்காக எல்லோரும் பல்கலைக்கழகம் வந்திருப்பீங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறோம் அந்த விடயங்களில் மட்டும் இல்லாமல் பேராதனிய பல்கலைக்கழகம் என்பது ஒரு அழகான ஒரு பல்கலைக்கழகம் பொதுவாக அனைவரும் அந்த சூழலுக்காகவே இந்த பல்கலைக்கழகத்தை தெரிவு செஞ்சுருப்பீங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் அந் அந்த பல்கலைக்கழக அழகான சூழலையும் நீங்கள் ஒரு படிப்புக்கு ஒரு ஒத்துழைக்கும் ஒரு இடமாக நீங்கள் அனைவரும் பிரியாமல் ஒரே கண்டாயமாக ஒன்றாக இருந்து அனைவரும் இந்த பல்கலைக்கழக வளங்களை பயன்படுத்துமாறு அனைவரும் கேட்டுக்கொள்ளப்படுகின்றீர்கள் நன்றி வணக்கம் தேங்க்யூ மிஸ்டர் ஹஷான் அண்ட் மிஸ் ஹேஸ்வதி டுடே வி ஹாவ் அண்ட் என்டர்டெய்னிங் மியூசிக்கல் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் கிராஃப்டட் பை அவர் டேலண்ட் அண்ட் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஆர்ட் சர்க்கிள் அட் தி யூனிவர்சிட்டி ஆஃப் பேராதினிய Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to immerse yourselves into this harmonious performance arranged exclusively for you.
Yeah. 
Dear students, thank you very much for your wonderful performance. As we reach the end of this momentous occasion, it is my honor to invite Dr. Nalin Suranji to deliver the vote of thanks. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I have a very long list of people to thank, so please bear with me. Uh, on behalf of the organizing committee, I like to begin by expressing my heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed vice chancellor, even though he left early due to uh, some commitments. Uh, Professor M.D. Ramavansa for gracing this event with his presence and for his unwavering support to the Faculty of Science. A uh, warm appreciation goes to uh, Deans of Faculties, Acting Director, uh, Postgraduate Institute of Science, uh, Proctor of the University, uh, Chief Medical Officer, um, and all the other distinguished guests for joining us on this occasion. I want to extend my profound gratitude to the, uh, our Dean, Faculty of Science, Professor Sanat Rajapaksa, whose leadership has been instrumental in planning this event. A special mention and thanks to 
uh, all the heads of department of faculty of science for their invaluable support and participation. I must also acknowledge the exceptional contribution of Ms. Jeevanti Disanayaka, our uh, assistant registrar, faculty of science, and Mr. Ishan Samarheva, uh, the deputy bursar of faculty, uh, faculty of science in administrative and financial matters. Dr. Chandima Herat, our chief medical officer and her dedicated team, uh, deserves our heartfelt thank for their un, uh, outstanding support. I would like I, I would also like to uh, extend our appreciation to uh, Mr. N.K. Surya Bandara, CSO, Chief Security Officer of the University, and his team for uh, overseeing the security. A big thank goes to uh, audiovisual team uh, and the uh, webcasting team, uh, webmaster, for their invaluable assistance. We highly appreciate the effort of the Works Department and the Landscape Division for their crucial role in the arranging this venue, especially the attractive floral decorations made with eco-friendly natural materials by the landscape division. Our admiration and thanks goes to the talented students of the art circle for their captivating entertainments. I extend my gratitude to Mr. Miuranga Balasuria, president of the Student uh, Science Student Union, and uh, uh, Mr. Hashan uh, Karunasena, uh, Junior Treasurer of the uh, Science Student Union for their valuable support in making this event uh, possible. A special mention is due to the dedicated volunteer students who have provided immense support in various aspects. Our appreciation also goes to all the non-academic staff members and uh, uh, temporary academic staff members for their unconditional support. I would like to take this opportunity to express my deep gratitude to senior student counselors and the organizing committee members of the inauguration ceremony for their relentless dedication, namely uh, Dr. Sarang Yatukorala for overseeing entertainment, uh, Dr. Rajita Ranasinghe, uh, who is the chairperson of the Student Welfare Committee for his comprehensive assistance in organizing the event. Uh, Dr. Bhati Aturupana uh, for leading the uh, media committee. Uh, Dr. Jagat uh, Senaviratna, uh, who's in charge of the logistic committee. Uh, Ms. Uh, Pavitra Basnayaka for comparing. And uh, Mr. Chintaka Viraratna for his skillful graphic design work. I want to express my gratitude, gratitude to all the staff members of the Faculty of Science uh, and the parents who are joining us online. Least but not last, so sorry, last but not least, I cherish the presence of all the students of the 62nd batch of the Faculty of Science. As you embark on your journey here, I hope that in the next four years, you will come to realize that choosing the Faculty of Science at the University of Pera Denia was one of the best decisions in your life. Thank you for being here. And thank you all, and have a nice day. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of our wonderful event today. I kindly ask you all to please rise and join us at the National Anthem.
Friends, you are about to embark on a transformative journey that will shape your future and define your path. Remember, the next few years will be a time of immense learning, personal growth and friendships that will last a lifetime. Before we conclude, I want to remind our new students that you are not alone in this journey. Our faculty, staff and fellow students are here to support you every step of the way. Don't hesitate to reach out, ask questions and seek guidance. Together, we will make your university experience truly unforgettable. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a small announcement to make. The refreshments for our guests will be served in the tutorial room on the th third floor. As for our students, please remain in your seats and we will provide you with the refreshments. Thank you all for being a part of this event and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.